people expected things to become faster. So maybe your ex the expectations of people regarding services uh, increased, not necessarily in a good way. Because in my experience as a photographer, for example, they would just say, why can't we get the files right away? You're just going to Photoshop it, right? But you know, it's not that easy to Photoshop. Um, and in the same way, then they expect so many shots because they're just going to say that you're not going to run out of film anymore because it's all digital, it's in the memory card. Um, and that's also a hard way to explain to clients that it's not that simple. And also in the same way, and also in our industry, um, competition has gotten more and more, has gotten deeper because the learning curve has decreased because you just look at the camera, you just look at the exposure, the settings, and that's it. You get instant results right away. So on one hand, it's good that more and more people are learning photography right away, but on the other hand, it can be bad for business. But I guess um, the point is digital transformation has made life move along at a faster pace, although it remains to be seen whether it's going to be good in the long run or not. Okay, so in the digital transformation life, cybersecurity is very important because I may be a cynic, but in a way when digital transformation is um, happening, it also gives bad guys more ideas on how to um, prey on unsuspecting people. For example, um, there's this filter lately, right, that, well, actually there's a scam before that, but I, don't, I forgot the term, I don't go if it's catfishing or whatever, where they send pictures of themselves, then, you know, they, then somebody sends, um, you know, they think that they're going out with a girl or a guy, so they send pictures and money and all that. So it's a scam, right? Because you find out eventually that, that that person doesn't really exist and you're sending your nudes maybe or money to people who don't really exist and then they have stuff to blackmail you. So they, see that's part of the digital transformation that's negative because bad guys are also adjusting in a way on how to uh, scam people. So for example, in my industry, the most important thing I can hold are files. So I recently read about ransomware where I don't actually know how you get ransomware, but when, when you get ransomware, um, these hackers will hold your files hostage. So for example, if it's a wedding, and of course it only happens once, so you're gonna have to be really desperate to get it back, so you have no choice but to pay, unless maybe you're IT yourself. So you have to pay that you know, exorbitant amount of money. So yeah, that's, the bad, that's one bad thing about uh, digital transformation, which is why cybersecurity is important because they have to be faster than the bad guys. You know, in a way that um, before the bad guys can even think of a scam or holding anything ransom or whatever scamming, hacking, whatever, they have uh, cybersecurity has to be one step ahead. You know, it has to be not reactive; it has to be proactive, actually. Well, as I said earlier, with digital transformation, life is going faster and faster. And maybe one sad thing about it is that it's going to take a lot of money to keep up. Because, for example, in the Philippine setting, uh, it's really more about who has more money. So that's how you can keep up with your business. So in a way, it's kind of sad because a lot of people are going to get left behind. But you know, on, the, on the other hand, it's also an opportunity to adapt. Uh, for example, five years from now, I don't even know if there's still going to be physical photographers or physical videographers um, because maybe they can do it remotely already, like even in a wedding, I'm not sure, depending maybe on how fast the internet is here in the Philippines. It can also be modes of fun, maybe like five years from now, we have, if we watch Real Steel the movie, maybe there's going to be an actual robot wrestling already, robot boxing, you know, so it's going to be fun. Uh, but we don't know what's going to happen in five years, but all we know is that life is going to be much, much faster than what we should expect. And hopefully, uh, in the long run, it's going to be beneficial to the whole world.